Uh, is there any progress being made on therapeutics that might help people that already have the, uh, the, the disease? Well, David, that's, that's a great point. There is no one silver bullet here. And I think what is really important for everyone to understand, it's gonna take a holistic approach because likely we're gonna be dealing with this not only as a pandemic, but it's going to be endemic for several years going forward. So in all likelihood, it's gonna take a combination of therapeutics for patients who are actually sick, vaccines to present it, prevent it from happening in the first place. And you know, last but not least, the hospital protocols that I think have done a great job, still much more work to do in terms of reducing actual mortality and morbidity. So things that have been talked about are remdesivir, uh, hydroxychloroquine, and also um, convalescent plasma. But generally today, you wouldn't say that those things are therapeutics that are gonna solve the problem, is that right? Not e each and of themselves. I think there will be various opportunities you use them. And look, we're going to learn, for example, with convalescent plasma, when and where are they most in, uh, effective? In what patient population? Is it an older population? Could they be used, for example, in an elder care facility where you're seeing an outbreak in a more aggressive way? Uh, should antivirals be used earlier in the disease? And I think we're, again, we're developing a lot of information as we speak, and we're going to learn a lot more in the coming weeks and months.